Hey guys, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another come with me It is the day before 4th of July and I thought with my one day off from teaching and dancing I'm gonna dedicate this day to all things plants So I wanted to do another location another city. I've never been to before so welcome to Glendale, California I'm 33 miles away from home. It is warm hot and sunny. Here is my outfit of the day so I'm wearing cowboy boots and a button down and I'm really hot. I just stumbled upon a really cool greenhouse. I hope you guys enjoy this. Come with me and give this video a big thumbs up for another new location and city for the channel. All right, so here we are and I'm gonna get right into it. Now this property is really big. There's in-ground plants. I mean, there's plant life for all types of people. So I wanna go ahead and come right into the greenhouse right away, which by the way, guys, I'm like the only person in this beautiful big greenhouse. Out of all the greenhouses I've been to, I wanna say this is probably like the biggest one I've ever been to. So give this video a big thumbs up. Like just take a look at just the way how it's built. I love it. This is such a really fun greenhouse to explore. So let's go ahead and do from one end to the other and see what they have. I feel like these type of places like you'll never know what you're gonna find in here. So I'm gonna go and take my time through each corner here. Look at this staghorn fern, like, are you kidding me? This is so cool. Let's not skip over the ferns here. $16, which is on the expensive side. These guys go for six, got some orchids here. Like, take a look at this big fiddle leaf fig here. Like, it's big. So very inspiring to see plant life here all the way out in Glendale, California. I love how they styled this staghorn. That is pretty impressive. It's like going through a plant museum. Look at this stool here. And then look at this like little bar, a wooden bar. This is interesting. Here's some Hoyas. Look at how pretty this is, the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. Actually, this is really big. I love it. If I didn't have three of them, I would totally scoop up one of them. I can never say no to Hoyas. Take a look at that. Tricolor here. Very pretty. But Julian has so many Hoyas, you guys already know that. Here's another one here. This one is labeled as a Carnosa Silver Pink. I wish I have a bunch of them. Alright, so that was very fun to see some Hoyas in here. Here's a Red Congo Philodendron. Actually, this is the plant that I cleaned with my grandma yesterday. So that's the section I just went through. Some Dracaenas here. Very cool. Look at this greenhouse, you guys. Like, seriously. I'm like the only person in this greenhouse. I swear, wherever I go, I always tend to be like the only one exploring in these big spaces, which is super fun. This, I can't tell if it's like the risky section or what, but $45? I don't know. I don't know about the prices here. Let's but. see if there's anything I don't have. Very cool. These plants are bigger than me. Wow. Take a look at this, 150. Interesting, here's the sense of areas. Gesteria. About 35 for this. More sense of areas. This one's pretty cool. Take a look at this. Love that. Alright, you guys, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I have this sense of area. Ow, I'm getting pricked. Very fun. Look at this big fern. Oh my goodness, fern goes. Love it. I love how it's styled too. That's pretty cute. 
wow this is interesting to see i love how they style plants here take a look at that so this is gonna run you about 250 one but i love the creativeness of it all this one is priced for a hundred dollars for a spider plant mounted up the worth of the plant not worth a hundred dollars but i guess it takes um some time and effort to get it up like that which is cool look at the way how they even style orchids here now that is something to be in awe of very cool by the way shoes of the day which i'm probably wearing the wrong shoes for this warm day so here's some spider plants which I don't know if I have this type of spider plant, so let's see. Look at this. Don't know what the going rate of this spider plant is, but look at its babies. Isn't that something cute to see? Now they just look like weeds, which I hate to say. Take a look at this one. I am sweating in here. This is interesting. I don't know what this is for, plants? To put plants in, I'm thinking. Ooh. Diphenbachia, I believe. Looks like the one that Kira gave me to rescue. $35, but I love the characteristic of it. And there is like six babies in here. We take apart. Red Congo philodendron. What do we have here? Hmm. It's actually a nice one. They have a bunch here. Look at that. Alright, this place is pretty cool. Mm, look at this bird's nest fern. Makes me miss mine at home. Wow, look at this big spider plant. Like, seriously? This is huge. Do you guys see this? It looks like 10 spider plants in one. And I'm surrounded by staghorn ferns. Very cool. All right, you guys, what do you think? This place is super cool. I'm literally walking in this entire greenhouse by myself. Nobody's here. And if you're wondering where my grandma and Abby is, they're at home. My grandma's organizing the greenhouse because we're leaving first thing in the morning to Las Vegas for the 4th of July work weekend but I love the greenhouse although I didn't see anything that I found interesting for my collection just to walk through something like this was very inspiring a lot of the plants are taller and bigger than me um, but very fun interesting greenhouse I want to go outside to see what they have um, that's not in the greenhouse so like they're more hardier plants which i seen when i pulled up into this space. all right so that's the greenhouse that i came out of which is pretty impressive i'll show you the entrance here at least one of them so this is where i just adventured through now let's come out to this section here so as you can see this is just one part of the property and it goes on and on so this is also some of my favorite types of plants. I love how this is prickly thorns. Children require adult supervision at all times. Drought tolerant plants. Hmm, I like this plant hut. I guess that's what you could call it. Oh my goodness, imagine all my plant babies getting this big one day. That's interesting to think. Wow. Give this video a big thumbs up for another cool location.
wow. This looks like a chola. Very cool. Now these are probably all in ground, but I just want to share with you at least a glimpse of what this section looks like. And this is the section I just came out of. Now let's go and find the succulents. Okay guys, so here's another section. So this is the greenhouse I just came out of. And I want to see if they have any more house plants. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. Oh, cute. Carnivorous plants. Love that. Okay. This place is pretty cool. Oh, little ferns. I wonder how much. $8. All right, you guys, so I came across the house plants, which is really fun to go through. Look, here's another Hoya, love it. And a neon Hartley philodendron, which is one of my favorite plants in my collection. But I came across the Potos and Joy, some Sensevarias, lots of ferns, spider plant, Sigonium. Fiddly fig, oh my gosh, take a look at this. Look at how stunning this is. Oh my goodness. This is like the biggest philodendron I've ever seen in my entire life. Guys, like for real, this is the biggest philodendron I've ever seen in my entire life. So give this video a thumbs up. Like literally, size-wise, plant goals. You wanna know how much this is? About $200 out the door. Is it worth it? If you're looking for a jungle, sure. But um, look at all of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here that I don't have that I'm like looking for, which you never know in these places. Sigonium. Now here's the caladium, which I always love looking at. Take a look at this space. Like for real, are you kidding me? One of my finicky plants that I used to own a lot of, actually Catherine has a bunch of these. These are caladiums, which are super pretty to look at from afar for me. really fun take a look at this oh my goodness okay i'm dying all right let's see what else they have here calathea the rattlesnake sensevarias some orchids anthuriums wow very fun Epidendrum orchids. I know what the prices are. Not that bad. Look at this. Look at how pretty. I'm gonna go through this section here and see if there's anything interesting. Justinos. So I'm trying to find their succulent section here. Take a look at this. All the perennials. Oh my gosh, and I just seen a hummingbird. Look at that. So pretty. Are you kidding me? Coleus, look at how pretty the coleus is. Begonias. Oh my goodness, look at the blooms. How pretty. 
Okay, here's the begonia. You guys know how much I love begonias. Alice in Wonderland vibes. Oh my goodness. Look at this caladium. Now look at this begonia. Look at that. Oh, trying to justify why I need this begonia in my collection. Take a look at this. So pretty. More begonias. More caladiums. So pretty. Take a look at this. I just love all the colors. Scream spring and summer. All right. Here we are. This is my section right here, guys. Ah. Okay. Let's look here. Senecio spearhead. Some jelly bean sedums. More Senecios here, which I don't have, but very fun to see. Love that. Pink ice, which I'm still waiting for mine to bloom. More Senecios. I see a uh, Jacobsonii up there. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a very fun space to walk through. Very gated Cressida Ovada, which mines died from the rain. I might have to go ahead and repurchase one one day soon. Here's an Eve's needle. Uh oh, plant. I'll help you. <laughs> Poor thing. Serious Monstros, one of my favorites. So, a lot of sedums, Echeverias, a Haworthia, one of my favorites. But take a look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. I'll give you guys just like a quick little point of view. And also, it goes all the way back here. string of pearls, donkey's tail, Senecio Jacobsonii, trailing jade. Wow, look at these aeoniums. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's blooming. How fun is this? Seriously, this would be such a fun project to bring home. You could go ahead and divide it up and looks like interested to see how much this is I want to say it's probably like around 25 but take a look at it oh my god these are gorgeous I kind of want to take this home just because of how dainty and beautiful it looks like and I don't have these aeoniums and again if you watch my channel I haven't bought any aeoniums in person they're all gifted to me by plant friends which is fun to think about, but look at the dimension of this plant. This would be fun to take apart and style. Oh my goodness, very pretty. Now here's the desert rose, the adeniums, and mine's died from the rain while I was in Egypt. They go for about 30 here. Sensivarias, some ponytail palms. Another fun aloe, which um, I believe Carrie gave me one of these guys here. Fun aeoniums. Look at this. I have some in my greenhouse. String of hooks. Look at how pretty. Calanchoes. Oh my goodness. I'm really dying for this section. Like, what's going on here? Like, take a look at that. Do you see that? Look at this, looks like some kind of simper vibram. But I've never seen one this big. Look at all the babies. Oh my goodness, this would be fun to bring home. I don't really collect simper vibrams. This one goes for about $15, but take a look at that. Isn't that so fun? Oh my goodness. This is probably like the coolest thing I've seen here. Look at that. That'd be fun to plant up. Ooh, it is hot up in here. Some golden barrel. Some sedums and some really bright 
neon green with some dark deep purple I love the dimension of that that's really cool Very cool. It's kind of super vibe. I'm not really good with or with the names of them, but look at the babies. Very cute. I love that. Look at the elephant's bush. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness. Some crassulas. Very cute. They look like they're like beetle juice plants or something. Gives me beetle juice vibes. Aeoniums, which I love. Look at this. How pretty is that? I just love the dimension of aeoniums. Really cool plants. Some calincoes. Euphorbia. Crown of thorns. Euphorbias. Little babies go for four dollars. Are you kidding me? Four dollars for one? That's really expensive. Anything interesting? Let's go for about twenty. Okay. I think we covered everything in this section. Let's go here. Oh, little plumerias. Reminds me of home. Be fun to grow. Aeoniums. These ones go for about $14. Pretty hardy plants. Good for landscaping. Love that. Cotyledon. Never seen it with blooms before. It almost looks like Kalinkoe blooms. Very cute. Oh, I love anything fuzzy. I think I have this one, but not this big. Oh no, babies. What do we have here? Moon cactus. Mammalarias. Elephant's bush. Every time I see this guy, it reminds me of the big mother plant in Tanya's home. Gives me that vibe. Very pretty. So this is interesting. They are labeling this as a Senecio, and I have this Senecio, which is uh, a shame I didn't include it in my Senecio Collective video because I never knew it was a Senecio. Learning here. Pretty. Little tiger's jaw. Remind me of Carrie and Catherine. Hawarthias, more Cressulas. And a big Opuntia. Look at that. Imagine your minds being that big one day. Hey guys, look at this. Purple Heart Tritiscantia, which I don't know if I have any in, but look at the begonias. Look at how pretty. I can never say no to Tritiscan. Guys, that is going to wrap up another Come With Me out here in Glendale, California, 33 miles from home. I hope you guys enjoy this 4th of July week. Come with me. It is beautiful hot here in Southern California. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I am well over 500 videos, which is pretty cool for this channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Until next time, you can find more on my blog at elojulian.blogspot.com. Aloha from Glendale, California. Thank you.